Welcome heart signs, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. This is the love message for you guys. My apologies. Uh, I didn't get to do the love reading last month because I was on bed rest. Uh, my excuses for that. But now, here we go. All right, earth sign people, let's go and see what's coming up in love for you, earth sign people. So I see a lot of communication. A lot of you want to um, have kids, so whatever is happening and transpiring. <clears throat> a lot of you really, really um, are interested and is uh, uh, speaking with your partner because uh, I think you are ready to have kids. As some of you feel as if you are ready found the man of your dream so you want to have kids with this person so if you notice there is a lot of a relationship a lot of you earth sign people who are in a good relationship at this moment and i see a lot of you are finding out that you want to settle down with this person now there is some sort of a secrecy is coming out that a lot of you didn't want to come out and whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you secret romance that you have is coming out. People are finding out about this. In the foundation of uh, this love reading, which is from the two last week of November until the two first week of December, we see the energy of some of you are really romancing. Some of you are going to be um, um singing the song and letting people know of someone who has been cheating so a lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of information that your partner is cheating who are we working with i see the capricorns is uh, going to be affected um in the first week um the taurus is going to be affected in the second week so um virgos you're kind of safe in um, this um, time of love but things could be also affecting you Virgos so, so let's look at the first week the first week uh, um, Capricorn women are going to be finding out that you feel fertile and you feel as if it is time um, that you start thinking about having kids or um, a lot of you Capricorn women who have kids you're going to be finding out that it's time to get back on the market Christmas is coming. You're feeling good about yourself. Um, you know, you're divorced. Um, you have the kids and you feel as if uh, it is time for me to look for a new partner. You feel good about yourself. You are feeling the chemistry as rising in your blood. Some of you, um, is feeling as if, yes, it is time for me to go and seek a new partner. A lot of you are going to be um, finding out some sort of information that you were not aware of about a Gemini and about a Leo. So uh, whatever is transpiring, if you're in a, a relationship with a, um, a Leo, you're going to be finding out some sort of information about this person that you were not aware of, that this person was in another relationship and you were not aware of this. A lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of information about a Sagittarian and their partner. And I see the Sagittarian have enough of their partner and they're so sick of their partner. And I see the Sagittarian is going to be um, just having a conversation with you and he's going to be telling you how annoyed they are with their partners and how they find out that their partners have lied and cheated on them. And then Sagittarian is just going to be coming out and just telling you um, this and you're going to be really supporting of this person and helping this person out. In the second week, uh, we see that you Tauruses are going to be finding out something about some sort of a secret affair of a Pisces. So uh, you Tauruses, whatever that was happening and transpiring, you Tauruses are going to be really finding out some sort of a secret affair of a Pisces. Truths are going to be coming out. Some of you Tauruses are going to be realizing that you're happy, you're in the most happiest place of your life, and that's where you're going to be, be, be staying in. Then in the third week, I see information, happiness, and joy. A lot of people are having secret affairs. A lot of people are feeling happy in their relationship. 
um the energy of the sun is going to be um showing up something about uh, a Sagittarian and their partner. It's like truths is coming out about a Sagittarian and, a, and their partner. Or you seen the Sagittarian. Let's say that some of you are seeing the Sagittarian man or woman. They're going to be telling you something about their partner. Maybe just as the first time, it's just going to be coming out and they're going to be really opening up to you. So expect this in a, the first week of December that a Sagittarian is going to be telling you that they're having some sort of a hardship with the, their partner, that they are not happy with their partner and uh, um, the hardship that they're going through in their relationship with their partner. It's not really a marriage. It's like as if they're in a relationship and they're going to be really be honest and say, look, uh, I care about you. I want to see you. Um, and the reason why is that my marriage or my relationship is not that uh, um, happy. And that's why a lot of you are going to be realizing that you're very happy with whoever you're in a relationship with. I see every um, um, truths are out. Whatever that was happening, I see a lot of you really open up and speak up. It's like you have no more secrets from your partner and you're very happy and this is going to be good. So in the first week of December is as if you just open up to your partner. You just be honest to your partner. Whatever that was happening, whatever that was transpiring, you are just really happy in where you are in your relationship because it's as if everything is open. Truths are coming out. Then we are looking at the energy um, that is coming up in the fourth week. In the fourth week, I see a lot of you, some sort of a secret affair that you had in a, had with a Pisces in the past is coming out. The Pisces is singing and telling everything about the secret affair you had with them. So Earth Sign people, your secret is not um safe with a Pisces a lot of you had a secret affair with a Pisces and the Pisces is telling everything that was happening whatever that was transpiring how it was what was happening was it good was it bad I see they're getting down and they're telling someone they're singing like a little bird so seek some of you are going to be sorry that you had an affair with this this person. Some of you had some sort of a secret affair and truths is coming out and you were trying to deal with it. Whether or not you're in a relationship, you're trying to deal with this because it's as if you're thinking, Jesus, I mean, why are you telling people that? Does it really matter? Um, I ended it. It was a one-time thing. Or it was a couple of times. I wasn't serious about this. So why are you giving people all this information? Um, it's not a situation that I wanted you or that sort of a thing. So I see some of you had some sort of a secret affair in the past. And this person is, is singing, is like telling. And, and it came out. And I, I see a lot of you are communicating and then saying, hey, um, why on her did you, I mean, what is the reason for you to do this? It's as if uh, um, some of you had like a one night thing with maybe your partner friend or someone that your partner know. And then all of a sudden they mail your partner and they're telling your partner this and you're like, are you crazy? Um, it didn't even, nothing ever even happened. We all up with each other and that's it. So why are you trying to create something that is not there? I was not interested if you didn't notice. So I see in the second week, someone who you must have gone out with or so is going to be reaching out to your partner that you're in a relationship with now. And it's going to be, and you're, you're trying to, um, how the fire. Okay. Cause this person is trying to create some sort of an issue in your, relationship it could be a cancer um or it could be a gemini but whoever this person that you had this secret affair with is going to be um letting your partner know this and you're like really um 
why are you doing this? This is like kind of crazy. It wasn't, I, I wasn't interested. Um, and I see you're going to be trying to help the fire of what is happening. So I see um, a lot of you ladies are going to be happy where you are, whether or not you're in a relationship. And a lot of you ladies are in some sort of a secret affair. Some of you ladies are having some sort of a secret affair. And the secret affair, whatever you're doing, whatever is happening, I see that a, a lot of you are texting and you're having the secret affair with someone. And I see you're happy where you are. So enjoy the moment. A lot of you are going to be finding out why your partner doesn't want to have a child with you. And the reason is that um, they're not interested in having kids. It was one of their most important thing in a relationship. So, you know, your partner is as if you're pissed off that you your partner doesn't want to have kids and yeah, you can't push someone to do something. It's better that you leave the relationship and go and look for someone who wants to have kids. And I see um, you're happy in this relationship and that's why you want to have kids. But your partner is not interested. I, I think you should let this go. Let this go. Um, that's not what they want. Don't push it. Let it go. Um, sometimes you have to respect the faculty. For whatever reason, this person doesn't want to have a child. It is, uh, um, it is important for them. So respect their wishes and let it go. You can always find someone who wants to have a child with. So, um, yeah, um, I see a lot of you are upset because you are, it's as if you ladies are now feeling as if, yeah, I do want this relationship. And I see this man is playing some of you women because they don't want to have kids. They just want to um, enjoy with you. But having kids, no, that's not what they're looking forward for. So be aware of this. A whole lot of you are trying to find strength to, um, you know, help the fire out. Because whoever, whoever you had an affair with is going to try to come back at you. It could be a cancer. And I see as, as if this cancer sticks in you and, you know, is pushing that they want to, you know, regain this fire, regain what you had with each other. And you're thinking, yeah, that was the past. Um, no, I've moved on. You know, you know, you have moved on from chicken to beef. And uh, um, this person was uh, turkey. But wasn't beef, you know, there's a huge difference between turkey and beef. And you're thinking, well, it was better than chicken, but it was not beef. So, mm, no, I don't think I want to go back there. Whatever has transpired between you and this person is as if you're realizing, hand it, don't go back. Some of you could have found out that this person was sleeping around and that is the reason why. So I see um, a lot of people who had secret affairs is as if uh, these people are like, you know, it was good with that person. I'm going back. And when they realize that you have a relationship now and you're serious in your relationship, they are going to be saying to your partner or trying to create some sort of a problem for you and your partner. So be aware of this hurt sign people because I see People are coming back in order to um, create some sort of an issue <clears throat> in your relationship because they are alone or because their marriage is uh, messed up or they are alone and they want to uh, um, an annoy you or create uh, problems around your relationship. So whatever is happening, the serious um, thing is that a lot of you are going to be very happy in your relationship. A lot of you are going to be finding out, especially you ladies are going to be finding out that your partner do not want to have kids. Let it be. Let it be. All right. Some of you are going to be finding out the truth um, that um, someone you're with is the love of your life. OK, um, some of you are going to be finding out that someone that you're sharing your happiness and joy with 
Um, it was like a secret affair. Some of you are having secret affair, but you're going to be realizing that this person is the one I need to be with. This person who I'm having the secret affair is, is uh, um, the right one for me. So be aware of this, okay? A lot of you, um, whoever you had some sort of a secret affair with, it, they're going to tell the world about this. <laughs> and it's because... You end it and you're not communicating with them anymore and they feel as if they're trying to get back at you and they're going to be telling the world about what has happened. So let it be. Um, well, at least they're thinking about you. So that means it was very good. Um, I guess you show them what is the difference between chicken and beef and this is why they are being so annoying. Um, and that, you know, they have cheated on you and you found that out and you just walked away and now their life is uh, in ruins or their wife have found out about what they have done. And then they start to, um, you know, talk about the affair and it's going to be reaching out to someone that you're in a relationship with and you're like, oh, please let it be. Um, it wasn't even that good. It was chicken, not beef. So this um this 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 uh, end of october going in uh, end of uh, november going in december is going to be an experience for you capricorns because it's as if someone wants to get back at you and it's going to be and you could have just have maybe an affair but guess what your happiness um earth sign pv your happiness whoever is in a relationship and is happy no wonder what this um um secret affair is that is going to come out it's not going to affect you so don't worry i love you guys gotta go namaste please remember to like share these videos if you want to see the extended um become a member of the channel i want to say thank you for being here namaste until next time